Welcome back to Transport Fever 2, guys. Uh, today we are going to do a little experiment. Uh, I say little, it'll cost uh, around 20 million to do, uh, but that's okay. Uh, we have 11 million in the bank, we have no loan, so we can do a little experiment. And what I'm going to do is upgrade some of our trains. Because right now we're running generals everywhere except over in Vancouver, wherever Vancouver is. Uh, wherever Vancouver is, Vancouver is uh, running uh, the very, very old Baldwin. But over here in Jackson on our tool line here, I am going to upgrade our generals to uh, the new Baldwin, the Baldwin 280. Um, and that's going to cost a lot of money. Uh, but I think it's worth doing. Uh, I don't know. That's why we're doing the experiment. Uh, but uh, before we do that, uh, it was uh, uh, pointed out to me that uh, on YouTube, the, the, the UI was very hard to see. It was impossible to see any, any numbers, stuff like that. So I have increased the UI size. And let me know if this is the size that you would like. Uh, it's very big to me playing the game, but that's okay. Uh, if it means that you guys can see what's going on, that's good. Or uh, is it too big? So before I had it set to 75%. Uh, now it's at 150. Uh, I think I can choose either uh, 100 or 125 as well, and I can even go up as high as 225. I don't want to do that, though, because then we can't see anything on the screen at all. Uh, but uh, let me know if this is the right size. Should I make it a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger? Uh, do know that I do record uh, a bit ahead, uh, just the way life works, uh, work and stuff like that. Uh, and also, I, uh, I'm doing some traveling, so um, yeah. Uh, let me know if this is the size that's uh, optimal, or should it be a little bit smaller? Uh, whatever. Let me know. Yeah, but let's do our, our little experiment here. So, what I want to do, we have our uh, cargo rail production tools uh, providence line and uh, I want to change the vehicles on that so right now they have a capacity of 63 um, and uh, let's just see what it will cost if we replaced all 10 vehicles that we have on here so what I want to do is I want to upgrade to the Baldwin uh, because the Baldwin has uh, so the general has a power of 130 and attractive effort of 40 and a top speed of 45. Now the Baldwin has a power of 284, attractive effort of 70 and a top speed of 60. We could even go up to the Mogul, but the Mogul does 75 and it doesn't have that much more uh, power and attractive effort than the Baldwin. Plus our cargo wagons don't do more than 50 right now. So there's no point in going up to the mogul just yet. So I'm thinking a Baldwin uh, 280, not the six wheels. And for the cargo, we'll do the flat cars, not the gondolas. And we'll add up. So this is what we have on here now. Uh, capacity of 63. And it is mediocre, uh, but it does uh, 50 on flat. 50 on medium and 30 on high. Now I want to take that up to a capacity of 140. So we do 50 on flat, 32 on medium and 17 on high. Now replacing all 10 trains with that would cost us 43 million. We obviously can't afford that. But, but, uh, we don't need to replace all of them because right now, if we look at that line, we have a rate of 209. We only need to double it to uh, basically run this at its full potential. 
and I don't mind it going down a little bit in uh, in production immediately because we actually have quite a lot of tools sitting here. So what if we took out six of the trains, just sold them, and replaced the last four? And that's what I want to try and do. So let's borrow the 10 million that we can. That gives us 21.1 million. Will that be enough to do this? So let's manage the vehicle and we'll sell every other train. And yeah, go ahead, sell them. That gives us 24 million. Now, that won't be enough to do what we want to do, so we need to sell one more. 25 million. That's enough to replace these with the Baldwins and the flat cars with side stakes and take them up to 140 capacity. That gives us a top speed of 50 on flat, 32 on the medium, and 17 on the high. Let's replace them. And we can actually clone one of them. But before we do that, I just want to see what is the rate on this train now. 185, so that's not good enough. Uh, but technically it is for a little while. So we'll just uh, do that and repay some of the money. And now... We have some Baldwin 280s going. That's not a Baldwin 280 because that's the wrong line. Uh, that's a Baldwin 280. Uh, let's. F we have one down here. We do. And no, we don't. That's also <laughs> the tool delivery line. All right. So this is a Baldwin. And I clicked the wrong thing. This is going well. Alright, here's the Baldwin. And look at that beast. Look how many cars there are on it. How long it is. It's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. That is a pretty train. A very, very pretty train. Oh, look at that. Look how long it is. That is awesome. I do love that. And we'll see... if this makes us more money because before the line was making us around yeah a couple of million a couple of million and uh real production pause for a second so it's down here right now of course uh, but we were making a decent amount of money. It was our most profitable line. And hopefully, this will make it even more profitable. So you just picked up a full load here, right? Yeah, 140. And what do we have sitting here? 258. And that'll go up. So... You'll be coming in and picking up full load. How much do you have on board? Just 63, so we're not fully loaded yet. But you are this beauty. This beauty is fully loaded. And I want to see how it makes from that delivery. 
because it'll be going at higher speeds than the general. It'll be delivering a lot more and it'll just be all around better is my expectation. Uh, the only problem is that it's longer so this might need to be changed again. But it is a quite a bit longer and it should be really really good for us I hope. So before the, the trains made around 750,000 when delivering up here, let's see what they make now. 1.78 million. Okay. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And yeah, right now it's not doing that great made a little bit more there it will be awesome guarantee it uh, we do want to repay as soon as we can oh we didn't even borrow everything oh we, we repaid some right repay another half a mil so you are coming up with another full load, another 1.78 million. That is a lot of money. That is a lot of money that we make from every delivery here. Ah, oh, we didn't see it. Okay, but it is a lot of money, believe me. We can repay another half a mil. And if we take a look at the lines, this is now, right now, doing 2.5 million. Oh, down to 1.8, but you got the gist. It's a lot of money that we'll make here. There's the next one. That's tools. That's... Yeah, so money, money, money is going to be coming in from this, I hope. I hope. And how much will you make when you come in? So here, boom, 1.78 million. Of course, they don't come in as often as before because we've half the number of trains that we have here, but... How much will you make from coming over from the other uh, place? 695,000. Okay. Why didn't you pick up uh, planks, though? Oh, because you're going over there. You were picking up the planks, of course. So, 140 planks. You have quite a lot of stuff stored. What's the rate on this line now? 235. So, we can put another train on there when we can afford it. Here we come in with some more planks, another 695,000, picking up another full load of, uh, of planks. Or we, well, we delivered uh, logs and we picked up planks. All right, let's repay another half a mil. And we'll, let's take a ride on, on this guy and see how much we make when we arrive down at, at where we want to go. I don't remember the train station name, but look how beautifully long that train is. That is so much longer. It's more than twice the length of the old train. And the reason that I'm starting here with these guys, even though they are, they were the newest generals that we had, is because the train stations over at the other uh, lines simply aren't long enough. We need to rebuild those train stations in order to to make use of this. So I wanted to try here where we have the long enough train stations first. I think that makes sense. Okay. Here we go. We are going to be coming in 
with the planks. Let's see how much we make from that delivery. 1.48 million, so 1.5 million, more or less. Let's repay some money. We only have half a mil in debt now. So yeah, I think this was well worth the investment. Well worth the investment. And that tells me that it's something that we want to do for all our train lines. Uh, we should really... Oh, we do have the, the dates rolling along. Um, but it also tells me that we probably want another train on here. Uh, there's a train here somewhere. And you are, have a rate of 241. So... What does it cost if we want to buy one of these trains from scratch? I wonder where where's the depot it's up here so buy vehicles uh, steam baldwin cargo that car with side stakes it'll cost us 5.1 million so we can almost afford that right now we can almost afford that right now if we take out our loan we can Oh, well, no, we can't. Because we just had expenses ticking. Just paid our bills. Not something we enjoy doing, but something that has to be done. All right. I think this will be great for us. Look at that three million there we made. Did spill, spend 18 there, but fine. Then this uh, year, 1887, wasn't the greatest, but look at the potential. It's great. And if we just pause for a second and borrow the money that we can borrow, then we can... Don't you. And we have six vehicles on there. We can repay a million again. So yeah. I think this was well worth doing. Well worth doing. Just think of the money we'll make. I mean, we've more than doubled our our productivity here. I'm pretty sure, because we have six train on here now, which can carry more. Uh, each one can carry more than twice what the old trains could carry. So the old trains could carry 63. These carry 140. So yeah, more than double. What the old ones could and we have four less of them which means even though the baldwins cost quite a bit more in maintenance uh, they, they don't cost that much more that um, this is not a profitable proposition it most decidedly is and if we take a look at the line, we can see that the finances, there you can see, since we switched to the Baldwins here, that is a lot more money that we're making. A lot more. That is just going up, up, up. That is wonderful. So yeah. This is good news. This is good news. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is fantastic. Here comes another 1.78 million, which basically takes away our deficit and, and a bit. 
And then we have the other trains coming in as well. At some point. But this is this is great. Look at that. 3.3 million. 3.3 million. We have never seen that kind of those kind of of numbers before. We just haven't. It's ridiculous. We make so much money off of this. So I think that means that we want to do the same thing for our other train lines before we start thinking about building new stuff. Because we might as well optimize our profits on the lines that we current have, currently have instead of investing in, in new business ventures. I mean, why uh, lay out a huge fee on setting up a new line that we that may or may not make money? We don't know. So we would have made three million here as well if we hadn't bought a new train. So that is just awesome. That is just awesome. All right now here comes the problem. Are we gonna have a traffic jam here? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. See, that's the problem. So we have to pull this over even more so that we don't have this problem. All right. Well, it's not the worst problem to have. We can fix it. Okay. Let's just pull this way back. something like that and then we'll have to have these tracks come off something like up here and I'm doing it way up here because I don't want to do this one more time and I think this will be enough enough that we don't have to it will mean that we'll have to be go a little slow around here uh well it's still full, full speed for these trains but when we get better trains it'll be a little bit slow due to that due to the curbs but i am okay with that so let's stick in some signals There, 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 and then we'll put one in here, one in here, and one in here. All right. And that should do it. Yes, it did. Okay. Good, good, good. Uh, these two signals here don't really need to be here anymore. And I'd like this to be a double slip switch, even though it maybe not doesn't need to be, but I'd still like it to be just in case. All right. And we can repay another half a mil and another half a mil. So there we go. We are making pretty decent money. Pretty decent money. I have to say, oh, it was only 1.3 million there, but that's fine. That's fine.
All right. Let's see. Let's repay another half a mil. How much will this train make, I wonder? Uh, did we see that already? I don't think so. This train will make... 695,000. Yeah, maybe we did see it. When they come over from the other side. But Bill is pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Here comes one, another 1.78 million. That'll mean paying off at least another half mil. Another mil. And if we look at the lines, 3.6 million. It is by far the most profitable that we have. By far. It's fantastic. 5 million. 5.1 million. Jesus. That is... That is insane. That is absolutely insane. Look at that. Look at it going up. And it was our best line before, and now it's our best line by a mile. I can love that line. We are going to be rich, guys. Let's repay another half a mil. So I think that was well worth it. And once we get our other lines upgraded, we are going to be rolling in dough. And that means that we can start doing all the stuff that we want to do with car, uh, transportation hubs, stuff like that, I hope. Uh, but before we do that, we do need to upgrade our other train lines. So let's see, this one is what, 160 meters? Let's see. Um, it might actually just be 120. This is about twice the length, yeah. So upgrading these and getting this stuff being longer, I think will be absolutely amazing for us. We'll just be rolling in dough. Rolling in dough. And that will allow us to fulfill our dreams. So yeah, uh, I think we're. it was a good choice to do that little... Well, $25 million experiment. Uh, and see how much we actually came out on top because of it. And we did most decidedly come on top, out on top because of it. Well, now it's down to one and a half million, but two million. But it'll, it'll fluctuate depending on, on the seasons, right? Or the, the years. But here comes 1.78 million. And that will mean that we can't repay a damn thing because of other expensive. But yeah, look at that. Three million we made that year. This is going to be good for us. And that's even though we spent 379,000. So yeah, yeah. Ooh, I am excited about this. I am excited about this. This is going to be awesome. And I mean seriously awesome. So uh, we'll continue on in the next one. I'll repay our debts, save up a bit of money. I may even rebuild some of our train stations probably over on the New York line. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. But I think that could be good so that we get the New York line upgraded and the San Antonio line upgraded. And that will really uh, set us up to, to do big things in the future. So, uh, yeah, uh, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed the little experiment to see how much more money we actually make with these newer better trains and uh, i hope you'll come back for the next one so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it 
If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.